okay, we're going to see if it works this time. Uh, there's been some computer problems that have gotten in the way of finishing the video for lesson three. And I know a lot of you have not finished lesson three. So the first thing we're going to do here is I'm in the book here. And so I'm going to scroll down here to the textbook and I'm going to right click on this and you're going to need to right click it uh, so that you can get more than one thing open at a time. Now, if you're on your Chromebook, whenever I say right click, if you hold the Alt key down and click on the trackpad, you should get the right click menu. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and open link and new tab. Great. Then I will come down and we'll come to project number three. I'm going to select project number three here. And after project number three loads, you're going to go ahead and click on Project 3, Internet Search Skills, and that will go ahead and open the uh, Vista full screen. Don't try to do this in that little tiny window, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is go to page number 20 here in the book. Remember, it does not like that box to be empty, so you saw that I typed that in. Now I use the arrow keys to move over. Now I'm at 20 and enter. We're waiting for this to open at this point. If you're wondering why I'm just sitting here staring at it, that this is, yes, this is real time that we're waiting for it to open. And we're still waiting. There it goes. Great. Okay. Now I'm going to scroll down here. Okay. And I'm going to move this over so that it's centered because we just want to be able to read stuff off of this as we work along. Okay, now let's go back to our document. We've got the textbook open and we've got the document that we're going to be working with open. Fantastic. Okay, well, we can see something that I have turned on here and I want to show you what I'm looking at there. View, and on this assignment, you will need to show non-printable characters. So you're going to click on View. Then you're going to come down here to where it says show non-printing characters, and we're going to turn that on. So view and turn that on. Otherwise, when we get further into this assignment, it will be much harder to do. Okay, just letting you know what's coming next. Now, I am going to zoom out so you can see the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to change the orientation of the page. Right now, the page is in portrait orientation. This is how we normally work with it in tall mode. And, norm and the reason we call it portrait is if you're painting a picture of a person here, you'd probably have it in of the painting, the canvas in this position here. We want to change that to landscape. I'm going to come over here to file and I come down here to page setup near the problem, near the bottom. Click on page setup and I'm going to click on landscape. It really was that easy. And I'm going to click on OK. Now you can see it is in the wide position. Great. Um, I am going to zoom back out so I can work on this. Now the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to insert a table. Remember a table is information organized in columns and rows or a tool that it organizes information in columns and rows. I'm going to come over here to insert. I'm going to come down here to table, and I will just tell you that we want this to be 3 by 10. So I want to go to that where it says 3x10, and then I'm going to click. Great. Now, again, these little symbols here are simply the non-printed character. That character that looks something like a musical note is the punctuation character for a new paragraph that is everywhere, but as far as the computer is concerned, the inner key has been pressed. Okay. Just letting you know what that means. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and select this left column. Columns go up and down by clicking in the cell. Now, one thing I need to point out when we talk about selecting cells here is click in the center of the cell unless I actually say to click on the line. One of the problems that students have when working with tables, and this is even in spreadsheets, is they try very hard to get on the lines. That's like the one place not to be. Where I want you to be when I say a cell is in the center of the cell. Now, a cell is where a column and row intersect. So each of these little boxes is called a cell. I want you to click in the top left cell. Great. Now that we've done that, 
we're going to uh, resize this column. So you've clicked in the top left cell. Now I want you to right click again. Remember, if you for the right click menu on your Chromebooks, you'll hold the Alt key as you click. Table properties is the next place we're going to go. We're going to left click on table properties. The next thing we're going to do is change the column height. So I'm going to come to this little carrot right here. And I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to come down here and select, sorry, column width. Column width. We're going to change the column width. We're going to change that to 2.25. And you saw how I put that in, 2.25. And you notice while I was typing, you saw this line over here moving around. I'm going to purposely adjust that just so you can see 2.5. And you can see that the width of the column is changing while I'm doing that. Now I'm going to come up here and click on the X to close that because we're done using that. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is turn these three top cells, this top row, into a single cell. To do that, I'm going to move my cursor into the middle of the first cell, top left cell. I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button down, and I am going to drag to the right until all three of these are selected. They are not highlighted. They are selected. That's a different word. This tool up here is highlight. Okay, We use the word selected. Now that I have selected all three of these, I move my cursor into one of them. It honestly doesn't matter which one I move it into. And I right click. And I'm going to come down here to merge cells. And that's going to turn all of those cells into a single cell. Now I'm just going to go ahead and type in how to search the internet effectively. Okay, now we've typed that in. Great. Now, the next thing we want to do is change the background color of this cell. So I'm just going to come up here, and where I'm going to find my paint bucket is under the three dots more. You're looking for a tool that looks like a paint bucket here, background color. And I'm going to go ahead and select the drop arrow, and I'm going to go ahead and select that light blue number two, and that changed the background color in that cell. The next thing I'm going to do is center align the contents of this cell. I'm going to come to this tool right here, the alignment tool. Click center align. Now there's only one more thing we're doing in this cell, which is we're going to make all of this bold. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of this and click on the letter B. Great. Now, there's something we need to do here, so the rest of us, because everything we do for school, unless we're otherwise told, is in Times New Roman 12-point font. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the control key and press and release the letter A. A problem students have when we use the control functions is they try to stab both the control key and the letter using two fingers at the exact same moment. Ge or generally, they get it wrong. It doesn't work for them. And then they complain that it doesn't work. What you need to do is hold the control key down. And then while you're holding it down, press and release the other key. Okay. So now I'm going to come up here. I'm going to change this to Times New Roman and 12-point font. Great. At this point, everything in this table is in Times New Roman 12-point font. does not matter where I click. Great. So now we're going to come up here and we're going to select or type in Identify Keywords. But I'm going to press the down arrow key on your keyboard. You have the little arrow keys. I'm going to press the down arrow key. And we're going to go ahead and type in Boolean and. Down arrow key. Boolean or. Down arrow key. And not. Down arrow key, and I believe this one's going to be check for typos. Remember, typos is simply a shortened way of writing the word typographical errors. Now, you will need to finish this by typing in these others. I just want you to be aware of that, that there are some others here you need to type in. But I want to get going on the instructions for you. Because what we're doing in this exercise 
is looking, first off, of course, we're working at a table, but we're looking at ways to copy from a web page because this happens frequently. Students copy from a web page and what they turn in looks like garbage. Okay, it's that simple. It looks like garbage. So let's go ahead and copy this very first one and it's going to look like garbage and then we're going to fix it. And I'm going to be showing you a couple of ways of fixing things. So I'm going to start right about here. I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button down and I'm going to select to the win. Don't go further. Don't do that. I have found that it works better to go right to left, to go from the end to the beginning when I am selecting things on a web page. You can see that I lost that question mark. I'm not even going to worry about it. I'll just type it in. Control C. I mean, you could have right clicked and chosen copy. That would have done the exact same thing. Okay. Then and you're going to come over here to my example. I'm going to click in this cell right here because that's where we're going to put it. And I'm going to paste it. I'm going to hold the control key down and I'm going to press and release the letter V as in Victor. And that's where a lot of students stop. Oh, don't forget the question mark. Okay. And when they when you do that, I think you can tell that this is going to look like garbage. So I want to zoom in some so you can see all that's going wrong here. Okay, first off, we have unneeded carriage returns. All of these things I'm referring to as a carriage return. When you hear me say carriage return, I'm talking about pressing the enter key. Okay. Now, again, I show and it's important to show these on this assignment. I showed them by clicking on insert, not insert, view and show non-printing characters. Okay. So we've got that going on. Also notice that there is a faint highlighting between, behind all of this text that is very common when you copy off of the internet, that that faint highlighting shows up. By the way, it's also in the wrong font and the wrong font size. So there's a lot going wrong here. So we're gonna fix it. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and click on something that is right. You need to make sure that what you click on is something that you typed in and you know is right, okay? Because we're gonna use the format painter. Now, the way the format painter works is it's going to look under the selection. So the selection has to be on something that is right. So I'm going to click on, now I'm going to click on something that is right. I'm going to click on the format painter. Now you see my cursor turned into a cursor with a paint roller. I'm going to go past and you can see that I'm passed into the right of what I want to change. I'm not right on the line. That would be wrong too. You see where I'm at. Now I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button down and I'm going to drag it over everything. Okay. That got rid of the faint uh, highlighting behind the text here. It fixed the font size. It fixed the font itself, but it's still not right. And you can see that. You can see all of these uh, unneeded uh, carriage or, or enter keys. So I'm going to go ahead and use the arrow key to move to the other side of that question mark. You see how I moved to the left. Now I'm going to press backspace. Now I'm going to use the arrow key just to get back here. I want to be to the left of the word keywords. Backspace. Backspace. That got rid of that unneeded character. Space bar. Everywhere you have pressed the space bar, you see that it's indicated by that little tiny dot. That's where you hit the space bar. Now I'm going to press the up arrow key, backspace, backspace, space bar. This one is done. Okay. So we're done in this cell right here. Everything is now fixed. Great. Let's go get the next cell. So I'm going to come over here, and again, I'm going to go to the, to the end. I have found it easier when I'm selecting on a web page to go from the end to the beginning. Press and hold the left mouse button down. Drag over all of that just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to copy it. Control C. Now I'm going to come over to here. Click over here in this cell, because we're now in this cell here, and we're going to paste it. Control V. And it's going to look awful. Okay, don't forget that uh, recalls ended with a period. So I'm going to put a little period there. So again, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to use Format Painter. I'm going to come over to here. And I'm going to click on something that is right. I'm going to click on the Format Painter. Now I'm going to use the scroll bar very carefully to move over to here. Now I'm going to come down here slightly below 
but in this inside that same cell i'm going to press and hold and i'm going to drag that over everything good it's still a mess so what do we need to do here first there's plenty of things you can do first i will tell you that you're going to frequently find this that the fi in the word find gets dropped in this less in this lesson there are a couple of places where they do that on purpose because when you type it in if you don't do this part it comes in looking awful okay now that i've done all of that i'm going to come down here again the period is the last thing here on this page so backspace backspace now i'm not going to hit the space bar because the period goes directly behind the word that it's be, that it's attached to backspace backspace here i do need the space bar because we want a, a space between the comma and the word that follows it and again every time i hit the space bar you see that little tiny dot arrow keys backspace good i'm arrowing over using the arrow keys backspace space bar arrow key arrow key backspace arrow keys I am going to move this up a little bit. You probably won't be this zoomed in, so it'll be easier for you. Backspace, space bar. Good. I'm going to come over to here. Backspace, backspace, space bar. This one will be easy because we're still in, in the leftmost edge. So up arrow. Backspace, backspace, space bar. Just going to come all, all the way over here to the word find. This time I did use the mouse. Backspace, space bar. And that one is now put together. The only thing we have left to do, let's come back over here and heck, take a look. Okay, so this will go on for a few seconds. If you're watching the video, there's a very good chance you don't see what I'm looking at. I'm looking at a solid black screen, and it will be a few moments before this starts working again. There we go. Okay, and again, I'm looking at solid black in here, just so you're aware. So I'm waiting for this to come back so that I can continue showing you this exercise. And right now we're just waiting. I mean, I know that sounds pretty dull, but that's what we're doing. And a lot of other screens have gone blank on my computer like the one that I project onto the front of the room. The reason I'm not doing anything else right now, like pausing it or anything, is because this has reliably resulted in my losing the recording. So unfortunately, a big chunk of this recording is you looking at nothing happening. It'll be just a few more minutes, and I know that it will eventually straighten itself out. Let's see if I can go to another screen and come back. And we still have a black screen. Okay. So I know by looking at the book, okay, that it's going to want this right here to be in bold. So I'm going to go ahead and select right there and control B for bold, okay? Just so you know that I know because I've, I've already looked at the book. So we're now going to go ahead and start on these two cells right here. Let's see if the textbook is showing up again. Not yet, but it will show up soon. So I'm just going to rest here. And I'm sorry, but I'm not going to pause the video or anything else because this has reliably resulted in the video failing. Okay. So I am still looking at a solid black screen. Not really solid black, but the textbook portion of the screen is black. So... Yes, you're hearing me wander over to the refrigerator and opening a soda. And I'm still waiting for this to start working. Probably next year, I will re-record this video because this incredible pause is kind of troublesome. At this point, I'll stop talking so you'll know when you hear me talking again that we're starting the video, you know, to, to look back at the video.
There we go. Nope. Not the page I need. Finally, good. Okay, it's back. Okay, let's go ahead and adjust this down so I can center this. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and select this right here, starting with the period if I can, and very carefully selecting just that section right there. Control C. Now we're going to go back to our example here, and I'm going to click in this cell right here, and I'm going to show you the next tool we're going to use. The next tool we're going to use is on the edit menu, and we're going to paste without formatting. Now it's not actually going to paste without any formatting at all. What's going to happen is it's going to use the destination formatting, which is the document we're working in right now. So click, and there we go. This one's actually okay and nothing's going to show up except you notice this is an example of where we lost again the letters fi for find okay now again the they did that further down the page is sort of to trick you because like if if there were even one more letter in that sentence okay it would have done this and then the only way to fix it would have been to do that okay now, as it is, of course, there. I'm going to get rid of that extra character because I just wanted to show you guys how that happens and what it's doing. So that one's done. Let's go to the next one. Okay, we're going to go ahead and select this one right here. Copy, Control C. Here I will show you the the keyboard uh, command to do this. Okay, so I'm. You notice up here, 
you see the paste of out formatting you we could have clicked on this or we can press control and the shift at the same time and then press and release the letter v so let's go ahead and do that now i'm over here in this cell right here i'm going to hold the control and the shift and i'm going to press and release the letter v as in victor okay how does this one look it's close, but it's not quite there. I'll just tell you that. So that's easy. Okay, you see that we've got the cursor right there. I'm going to go backspace. That brought that up so the blank line is no longer there. Now, backspace, space bar. Okay, and you can see how that brought that word in there. Okay, I'm using the uh, arrow keys, backspace, space bar. Up arrow, backspace, space bar. Up arrow, backspace, space bar. Up arrow backspace space bar now we've got that there so we will have to come over here and click over here and backspace space bar and that one is finished so i hope you're seeing that this is a much easier way of doing this now there are just a couple more things i want to show you on this in assignment okay the first thing i need to show you is the facts are we're copying this right I mean, if, if that should be obvious to everybody watching us doing this assignment. We are copying this assignment. Whenever, oh, I forgot to do the bold here. Give me a second. Okay, so what, you know, FDA and, okay. So I just come over here and I'll select FDA and peanut butter and recalls and I'll press control B. You could have also clicked on the big B right here. Okay, whenever you copy something, you must say where you got it from. Unless your teacher specifically told you like to copy a sentence out of a book onto your worksheet or something like that. You need to say where you got it from when you copy. And so we're gonna come over to here and outside of the table, notice that now I'm right below the table. You see where my cursor is, right? I clicked right below the table and I'm gonna type in the word source, S-O-U-R-C-E and a colon that's a shifted character next to the letter l and space bar great now come over here where we where we get this we got it from google apps for learning tech readiness e-text pdf control c as time goes on your ela teachers will tell you more about how you need to cite uh, where you've got information from. And citing is something that's covered mostly in your ELA class. As far as I'm going, is telling you that you must do it, okay? So I'm gonna come down here. And again, because I don't wanna to have to fight with the formatting, I am just gonna go Control Shift V. And that put that in there for me. Now, we're not quite done. That sentence is in one sentence. You see that it's so, so I can triple click on it to select that whole sentence. Click, click, click. And that selected that whole sentence. Now I'm going to use italics, the I. You could have pressed Control I, and we're going to change that to 10 point font. Okay. So in this case, you've said that this is where you got it from. Whenever you copy things, you must cite where you got them. Now I want to show you one more thing that's going to happen on this assignment. So I'm going to open a completed assignment real quick. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to a completed assignment. Wrong one. This one. Okay. So I, now, what I want to show you is what happens when you jump, uh, jump a page. Okay. So you've been working along. You've been doing this. You've got your, uh, so everything's done. You're working down and you get to a spot where you wind up crossing a page line. What's going to happen is it's going to look like this right here. Yeah, it's not responding, but I should be able to just continue talking without the without it working. Okay, so understand that this cell is this cell, okay? When you cross a page line, it kind of looks like it's put in new cells, but it hasn't. Now, the place where that gets sometimes confusing for students, come on, come on is let's see if i can screw over okay good now okay down uh, let me move that out of the way okay good now we've got that showing again okay the place where it gets confusing is this cell is this cell 
even though it looks like there's nothing in this cell, there is something in this cell. The words check for typos are what is in this cell. So as you're trying to put the next uh, line in, just be aware of it. When you cross a page, it kind of looks a little bit confusing. But this cell, and I'm going to purposely go inside of this cell here, down arrow, down arrow. Oh, let me be because of that. Is this cell right here? Okay, just to be aware. Other than that, basically all I'm going to tell you is to continue and go ahead and finish this the way that we were doing it. And when you're done, it's going to look a lot more like this right here. You notice that all of those have been taken care of, all of the stuff is stitched together. It looks like it should look. And so a big chunk of this assignment, I know it feels very repetitive. And the idea is to really in, get it in, into you of this is how you fix the formatting when you, when you copy something off of a web page and into a document.